Okay, let's check out the Invoices tab so we can start billing our clients and getting paid. The first thing you'll see in the Invoices tab is the Invoices sub-tab. So I'll click the green New Invoice button to create my first invoice. Let's just double check our business address, looks good. And it's also going to ask you when you create your very first invoice, what do you bill your clients for? I actually charge them for both my time and flat rate items. So I'm going to select both and continue on to my invoice. I'm going to uh, select Bridezilla Smith as my client and a couple things to point out here are that you can change the currency that you bill in. So if you bill people in different countries, you can select a different currency from this drop down here. I still want to uh, send her an invoice in Canadian dollars though, so I'm going to leave it as CAD. However, Bridezilla Smith does prefer French, so I am going to change my default language to French. As you know, we are bilingual here in Canada. And there we go. Groomzilla Smith also likes to keep tabs on, uh, on the spending for the wedding, so I'm going to make sure that both of my contacts are checked off here so they both receive a copy of the invoice. Another thing to notice is when you first start sending invoices in FreshBooks, it's going to default your invoice number to invoice number one. I would like to look a little bit more professional. I don't want them to know that they're my very first invoice, so I'm just going to change it to a random number that looks a little bit more professional. Uh, all the invoice number really is is a unique identifier, and FreshBooks is going to take care of the rest. Every single time I send a new invoice, it'll change this number to the next consecutive number. So our next invoice will be 890466. Now, I haven't created any tasks. Tasks are line items that I charge an hourly rate for, and I also haven't create, created any items yet. Items are things that have a unit cost that I might charge for. Now I'm going to create a new item, so I click inside this items field and I'm going to select new item. As you can see, I am now creating a new reusable item. My item name is consultation fee. It's for the initial consults. The unit cost is $150 and the quantity is one. Let's go ahead and save that item. Like I said, I do charge HST, so I'm going to select my HST from the tax drop-down menu and it, it will be calculated for me down here. Lastly, I want to set some default terms. Let's click the Set Default Terms link. These, set, these are a set of default terms that will appear at the bottom of every invoice. Mine are quite simple. Payment due within 30 days. Check and cash accepted. Thank you for your business. Let's go ahead and save. And now I won't ever have to type this in manually again. It will be automatically populated for me with each new invoice. One other thing I do want to point out that's in that set default terms link is the fact that there is a late payment fees tab. Again, this is a feature that is available for paid accounts and you can choose to add late payment fees to encourage those slow payers to speed up a little bit. I have three options down here at the bottom. I can save this invoice as a draft. I can send it immediately to both those contacts by email or I can send it by snail mail. Clicking the send by snail mail button will actually send a request to our facility we have um, and they will send the, the uh, snail mail out for you. This will include a return envelope and um, has a nice window where they can see the uh, mail to address and the return uh, mailing address. For now, I wanna save this as a draft and see how it looks. To preview the invoice, click this gray View Invoice button. And here we go, we have a really nice, branded, clean invoice for my initial consultation fee. It's in French, because that's what Bridezilla would like. And as you can see, it's also in draft mode. So let's go back to the Invoices tab. It's looking really good to me. I'm actually going to print this off and give it to her. So if I print an invoice off, I have to let FreshBooks know that it has actually been sent. And there's a really handy feature 
called the Mark as Sent button. If you hover your mouse over the invoice number, I can change the status from draft to sent with that quick click of the button. And there you can see it there. To print the invoice off, I will check the box to the left of the invoice. And you can see there's a ton of options along the top in gray buttons. I want to select the print option and it will download a PDF for me right here. Let's check it out. And there's the PDF with a nice payment stub down there. Cool. Let's head back over here to our invoices tab. Now I'm going to show you the recurring sub tab next. Recurring profiles are really awesome if you do any subscription based billing or want invoices generated and sent at regular intervals. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to click the green new recurring profile button and here is the template. The schedule start date is when that very first invoice is going to be sent. I want to show you guys what it looks like, so I'm going to keep the schedule start date as today. I would like this profile to generate and send invoices monthly. And you can leave this as infinite if you don't know when you want to stop the recurring profile. But I know that this is a six month contract and I only want six month worth of invoices generated. You'll select your client, Bridezilla Smith. And if there's more than one contact, make sure you know who it's getting sent to. This is a really cool feature. I know that I will be charging for my time and using the time tracking feature that we will be explained in a later video. So I'm going to click include unbilled time and expenses. I want any projects created in the future for this client to be included in this profile. There's three different formats that your time entries can show up as. There's detailed. This format will have each time entry as a separate line item. Personally, this is my favorite format. It's really transparent, very clear. You can choose what type of information to include in the time entry notes. Since the project will always be the same, I don't need the project name shown, but I do want the task name shown. I want them to know what I've been doing. It's always going to be me, so I don't need the team member showing, but I really want them to know when I did the work and any extra notes that I enter for the time entry. We'll talk more about time tracking in a later video. Grouped is another format that you can choose. This will choose um, the task, put that on one line item, and then add up all the time that you spent doing that one task in one line. All right. I will be incurring expenses on behalf of this client, so I also want any unbilled expenses to be pulled onto the invoice so I can recoup them. And done. You'll see here, now there is a little placeholder for time entries and expenses. So each month, if this profile notices I have any unbilled time or any unbilled expenses sitting under this client name, it'll pull it onto an invoice and send it out for me. Okay, let's save this. Now, it says that it might send out an invoice immediately. However, because the total is zero dollars, nothing will get sent. So I'm gonna say, okay. Great, let's move on. The Payments tab is where you can enter any new payments on your invoices. I've actually already received the initial consultation fee in cash, so I want to enter that payment against the invoice that I already created. Let's hit the green New Payment button. I'll select my invoice from the list, super easy because I only have one invoice so far, and I'll enter Payment. This invoice was paid in full. The method was cash and the date was actually last week. So I'm going to change the date and the notes was cash payment. 
Now, Bridezilla Smith uh, gave this cash to me in person. I don't need to send her a payment notification email, but if I wanted to, I could just check this box here and she'd get a nice payment notification email uh, to let her know that the payment had been received. Let's go ahead and save that payment. If I wanted to request a review from Bridezilla, we have a really cool feature where we can get her to review my work and I can share it on my Facebook page or email it out, but I haven't actually done any work yet. So not now, thanks for asking. So here's my payment. And just so you can see, I'm gonna head back to the invoices tab and you can see the status now says paid, which is really cool. Now, sometimes my clients like to pay me upfront and what you can do in that situation is create a credit. If you receive an overpayment or a prepayment, you can create a new credit. Again, selecting the client name, whatever they paid you. I'll create a new item, call it prepayment. Bridezilla has actually given me a bit of money up front. I'm going to save that item. I don't need to send this one by email, but again, you can notify your client. I'm just going to save that so I have it on file. And there's a credit that will be waiting under Bridezilla Smith's account until I'm ready to apply it as payment to a future invoice. The last tab under invoices is items. Now there was one thing I forgot to do when I set up my consultation fee item. So if you ever need to make any changes or if you wanna build your item list straight from here, you can do so. I'm gonna edit this consultation fee and add tax to it. This way, every time I select consultation fee, the tax will be auto-populated with HST. Let's go ahead and hit save. Perfect. Now, you may have noticed that I did set up a recurring profile for Bridezilla, and she does have credits sitting in her account. There's one cool feature I wanna revisit. It's under settings and miscellaneous. If you look back under the invoices and estimates subtab, I pointed out that you can choose whether or not you want recurring invoices to send automatically. Another excellent feature here is I can also tell FreshBooks that if a client has credit sitting in their account, I also want that credit applied as payment automatically for all future recurring invoices. So I'll check that and save my change. So that covers the invoices tab, how to set up recurring profiles, enter payments, credits, and create and edit your items. Next up, we're gonna look how to create some estimates. Let's head over to the estimates tab. Now, if you ever send any quotes, estimates to your clients that you need to have them accept before you continue on to do the work, you would wanna create a new estimate. Estimates look incredibly similar as invoices. They have their own numbering system and they won't count towards your outstanding balance for your books. Um, you set estimates up exactly as you would set up a, an invoice. So I'll set up a test estimate for now for a consultation fee. And I'll send that off. You'll see here you can preview the email. I might want to let her know I'm just testing this out. And go ahead and hit send. Let's view our estimate by clicking the gray view estimate button. And you'll see that right here. If you remember, I showed you the sent emails tab, which was under people. Here I can see that my new estimate email was sent. I want to preview that estimate. And this is the estimate link. If you ever want to see what your client sees, you can copy and paste this link into a new tab. So let's see what our client Bridezilla is going to be seeing. You'll see that the client facing view of your account looks slightly different. You see the word profile next to log out instead of the option of my account and settings. There's also much fewer tabs in the blue bar. 
So if Bridezilla has a look at this estimate and she likes what she sees, she can click this Accept button and it will change the status of the estimate to Accepted. Now we're just going to have to log out and log back in as the admin in order to continue working. And here we go. Heading back to the Estimates tab, I now see that my estimate has been accepted. So if I wanted to convert that to an invoice, I would simply check the box to the left and select the gray Convert to Invoice button just above. You have the option of converting to a one-time invoice or setting up a recurring profile as you saw me do just earlier. Let's set up a one-time invoice. And again, this takes us over to the Invoices tab where you would continue to set up the invoice as normal. Now, as I said, this was a test. I'm not going to save this, but I am going to go back to Estimates and so show you how to delete it. Here's our test estimate. Let's check the box to the left and hit the gray Delete button just above. Now that covers the main points under the Invoices and the Estimates tab. Next, we will talk about tracking expenses and assigning them to clients in order to get them recouped.